despite calls to pump more oil, OPEC is expected to hold output levels as they are when it meets on Friday. OPEC's members account for some 40 percent of the world's oil. The majority of them favor maintaining the status quo as prices are falling over fears of a recession in the United States. Euronews spoke exclusively to the new president of the cartel, Shakib Khalil, ahead of OPEC's crunch meeting in Vienna. All the world's consumer nations have asked OPEC to increase production volume, which would bring down prices and save the world probably from a recession. Will OPEC increase production at its meeting next Friday? Well, first you have to know that uh, the oil price is not only determined by s supply and demand, uh, what we call fundamentals. It's really uh, the result of other factors which are due to first lack of investments, they are due of geopolitical issues. Uh, for example, when uh, uh, the Iran, you know, U.S. crisis was happening, the oil price went up. When the dollar uh, was devaluated, you know, uh, went down, then the oil price went up. Uh, this tells you that the uh, devaluation dollar has a big impact on oil price. And also when, um, you know, you have a subprime crisis and recession, this also could have a very important uh, impact, you know, on oil demand and consequently on the, on the oil price. Uh, so the meeting uh, on the 1st of February uh, is going to look at what the market, you know, is doing. Uh, there's plenty of stocks, you know, in the market. Uh, the problem is that in the second quarter of this year, the demand is going to be lower. So most of the member ministers, you know, are not of the opinion that, uh, you know, uh, OPEC should increase because there's plenty of oil, the stocks are, you know, getting higher. There are experts uh, that are forecasting for this year a price that is near $120 a barrel for crude oil. What is OPEC's policy going to be in the next six months, faced with this market confusion? Well, first, I don't think uh, the oil price will go to $120. Right now, uh, of course, it's around uh, 89, 88. But uh, I'd like to point out that $88 in 2008 is less, uh, you know, than $40 in 1980. So really, uh, you know, it, it's not very high. Uh, it would need to go to 120 to become equivalent to what, uh, you know, the oil price was in 1980. Uh, consequently, I don't think, first of all, that uh, the oil price is going to go that high. Uh, and also because, uh, you know, there is uh, expectations that uh, we may have a recession and that recession would have an impact on demand, so consequently there will may be less demand this year than last year. And uh, this will have an impact, you know, on the, on the supply of crude. So consequently, if there is a lower demand, there is no reason for OPEC, you know, to uh, supply more oil. And here I'd like to point out that actually OPEC does not supply more than 40% of the total uh, production. So 60% really comes from other countries, and we expect other countries really to meet the increased supply this year. The people who are going to uh, petrol stations in the consumer countries probably have a different point of view and think that uh, the producers are busy filling their pockets as a result of this price increase. <laughs> That's not true. Uh, you know that uh, you can only look at the oil price in the US. It's very different from the oil price in the Europe. And basically the difference is because in the U.S. the ta taxes are much lower. They are about uh, 30 percent, while in the European countries it's more than 80 percent. So that tells you that uh, if uh, you want to have uh, reduced petroleum product prices, you can do a lot through the, uh, you know, reducing taxes. Are you in favor of oil being priced and traded in euros? Really, you know, the, this issue is not really an issue because commodities in the world are traded in dollars. Consequently, changing, you know, to another currency is not going to really change things because you still have to, you know, uh, you know count uh, from dollars to euros. It's just like the temperature, you know, the temperature is measured in uh, degrees Celsius and it's measured in degree Fahrenheit. It doesn't make a difference on the temperature.
temperature is still warm or still cold. Some experts doubt that OPEC can actually even expand its production volume to any significant degree anymore. Well, first, I think if you are talking in all over the world, uh, then uh, the major, the major bottlenecks are the uh, human resources. In the 90s, when the oil price was very low, then most of the human resources left, you know, the oil sector. Uh, and uh, now that we need, you know, more human resources, they are not available. So there is a lot of training to be done to get those human resources. That's one of the major bottlenecks for resource, you know, development, whether it's in OPEC or not OPEC, you know, countries. The second is, um, is really the cost. For example, steel has gone up three times. Uh, you, services have gone up, you know, to, uh, twice. The problem also comes from the signal which is given to uh, oil producing countries from the consuming countries when they tell you we're going to shift to solar, we're going to shift to nuclear, we're going to produce bioethanol. So you are giving the wrong signal uh, for people to say, why should I increase production? if tomorrow, you know, that demand is not going to be there. Russia's President Vladimir Putin last year proposed the idea of setting up a cartel for natural gas. As well as being president of OPEC, you are also the Algerian energy minister and your country is one of the major gas producers. Are you concerned about this gas cartel idea and do you think it has potential? The gas market really is not like the oil market. Most of our contracts are long term. So basically, we already sold, you know, our gas for the next 15 years, for the next uh, 20 years. Uh, basically, it's not our own, except we are keeping it. When the oil company next year will take it, you know, it will pay a price which is already fixed. Uh, of course, the price is already fixed in relation to oil, uh, which means that uh, basically the gas price, you know, uh, goes with the oil price. Right now, you know, it's very not uh, practical, you know, to, to have an organization of, uh, of that type because I don't see what it could do, you know, to help stabilize the oil market because it's already fixed, you know, within long-term contracts and within prices that are fixed uh, on the basis of oil price. Mr. President, we thank you for this interview. Thank you very much.